acknowledge the problem, but focus on the solution. Distinguished Toastmaster, fellow Devilers, and guests, we live in a world played with problems. However, I think we all can agree that out of these hundreds upon hundreds of problems, there's none as prominent as the damage of this planet by none other than ourselves. Every year, 39.8 billion tons of CO2 are released into the atmosphere. To bring that into perspective, that's enough to fill the ocean 31 times over. Well, by ocean, I mean Antarctic Ocean. Now, when it comes to problems and solutions, a problem without a solution is like a flame without a fire, such a thing in the time of exist. We then rest assured that we are not the only ones who have concerned ourselves over these issues. Some of the brightest minds that the world has to offer have thought of this and come up with ingenious solutions. For example, the, main, the CO2 issue I just mentioned is being solved by ingenious ways by both governments and individuals. For example, the government of UK are working tirelessly to reduce their fuel dust by increasing their taxes for these vehicles. They are also offering tax reductions for the importation of electric vehicles. In addition to that, countries such as the USA are banning any and all vehicles built after 1980s to be imported. This serves as a way to prevent or at least slow down this evergreen problem. A man needs two things to survive. One is air to breathe. The second is water to drink. In fact, all life needs water. It is one of the fundamental elements of life. Without it, life cannot and will not exist. However, the abundance of this miracle material have allowed us as the representatives of humanity to consider it as an object where we can use for garbage disposal. In fact, we have taken it to a granted to a level that we consider it as a waste. Did you know that at this very moment, there are 39,000 tons of plastic floating around in the ocean. To bring that into perspective, that's enough to build the Eiffel Tower 21 times and still have enough to build 91 houses. This, my friends, is the shocking reality in which we live. Now, you might have heard of certain nonprofit organizations such as Oceania and Team Seas. These organizations work around the clock to develop new and better ways to take this garbage out of the oceans. However, there is a problem. It does not matter how much garbage we remove if we have nothing to do with it. Out of the seven types of plastic currently in usage, four of them are completely unrecyclable, and that is just by their design. Now, scientists in Australia have seen this issue and have come up with an ingenious solution. If I were to tell you that you would eat plastic, how many of you would find that idea absurd? Raise your hand, please, if you find that idea absurd. Yes, that because it is more certainly absurd. For us, that is. But not for a, a worm that goes by the name Doblero Morio. This worm was created by Australian scientists to digest these other four types of plastic and turn it into rich fertilizer. The government of Australia have already begun to implement these miracle worms, as they like to call them, into their facilities. This has increased their efficiency by 300%. That is a massive improvement over their current circumstances. Further, this plastic is a material that is in abundance. 
It is free for your taking. You can go to the ocean right now and take as much plastic as you want without paying a cent. Some entrepreneurs in Australia have come also come up with an idea to take this raw material and take it in, create a product that we all need. Can anyone guess what that product is? Uh, I think is I have it on me right now. Any any suggestions? Seeing none, I would say it is indeed plotting. They the uh, company that goes by the name Ecola have created this wonderful clothing. This is actually one of their products that are made 100% of plastic, recycled plastic. And according to 12 independent review sites, these type of plastic are more durable and more comfortable than normal, normal fabric. And I for one can completely agree with that. This is one of the most comfortable shirts I have ever worn. Now, we are faced with a dilemma. As humanity continues to grow and improve, these problems we face will grow in size and in number. These problems themselves are a testimony to humanity's will to grow and to improve. However, if solutions are not found to these problems, it could be the end of humankind and possibly all life on Earth. This is why, for, especially for individuals such as ourselves, who will soon be entering the real world to know how to solve these problems and develop ourselves. Because, however, you do not have to wait until you have entered this real world to become part of this solution. A simple lesson, such as turning off a fan or a light when you don't need it, can over time make a dramatic effect. In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, be the change you want to see in the world, or do you, Madam Toastmaster? <laughs>